my name is Ralph and welcome to our channel. It's my time. Let's go. Today we're going to be working on Barry's heads and getting the valves uh, straightened out, I hope. Uh, we're going to get some sort of start on there. So to start with, I, I got to do the valve guide hole. We put in that one new valve guide in. So we just need to hone it out just a little bit to get uh, the valve in it. Uh, we've got a, a valve guide hone here, which we'll use. And this will help us enlarge our hole. We just go very carefully, just a couple light touches, measure it, and uh, just make sure that we don't go oversize. So that'll be the first step for today. So let's go. So we'll start by putting some honing oil. We've got a new stone in here. It'll give us a nice even cut. doesn't need very much. I think we'll wash that out. Sometimes it doesn't take very much, just a slight bit. Just giving us a thou over, not quite a thou. So that'll be plenty for this. That'll do it. Just a touch is all it needs. So now we've got our, our little new way cutter set um, to the right size. They make a couple cuts. So we're gonna start with, I always like to start with an outside cut first. 31 degree on the top. And just a light go around. And we got a little bit. This is the guy that we put in that we're hoping, hoping that we got enough of an angle. I expect it to be out a little bit. Just barely starting to touch it around there. Thirty-one at the top. 
So as you can see, we're starting to get a cut around here. We're not on the bottom there, but it is starting to cut on the top. So we're starting to get a ring around there, and that's a good sign. I expected it to be a, a lot more than that. But we're not, so I need that top one down for the top cut. And we're just starting to touch it around there. A little bit more. And as you can see in there now, we're starting to get a ring around it, which is a good sign. I don't think that light really helps much. I think you can see it just as well without the light. But you can see where it's getting shiny all the way around there. So we are getting a seat cut in it, and we're not way, 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 way out. All right, let's try a 60 at the bottom and see what's happening. So we'll try a little cut with a 45 and see where we're going. Yeah, we got a seat happening there. Just a little bit more. Looks like we're going to be okay. We're getting just a little bit more in there. A little tiny black line right there that we want to take out but we're starting to cut the seat all the way around and that's a good sign that is a good sign way to go Jimmy my friend Thirty off the top. See where we're at. Put a little bit of machinist blue. So we're trying to cut them down evenly and very carefully because that's the one that had beat around so bad. Uh, I'm quite happy with the way it's turning out. I am getting a 45 degree one all the way around and I am getting a 30. Uh, the 60 is gonna have to be cut out of it because I have a wide, wide 45 degree angle uh, on the far side. But what we've done is taken a little bit of machinist blue and just covered our valve seat in it and I'm just letting it dry a little bit. And then I'm gonna take a light cut with my 60 degree uh, in the bottom one uh, just to see which side we're working to and what it's going to lead me for my 45 degree because I don't want to take a whole lot off. Um, so that's about what we're going to do now and uh, we'll let it dry and away we'll go. Now you can see where we've taken a little cut and the blue is our 45 degree seat. So I'm not going to go overboard with that. And uh, until we start to put the valve in and see where we're going, it's not really necessary to have that one on the bottom. It's nice to have, but not, not at the price of sacrificing the 45 degree over here. Uh, we can cut way too much out of it trying to get it to hit on the bottom. So I don't think I'm going to go a whole lot more on that. And now you can see the blue is where our 45 is in there. Um, so it looks like it's going to work out all right. Try it with the light. So we've got a nice seat all the way around. Which means our valve guide uh, went in pretty straight. So we're really lucky there. So I'm going to leave that at that until I start with the valve in there and uh, go to lap it in and have a good look and see where we're at. And I know it's it's very hard to see on that, but there is a light blue line that's showing me right in the middle there. So that's looking pretty damn good. I think we'll try a little shot of lapping compound in there and that will tell the tale for sure. 
So we'll clean it out. No, it's a little bit hard to see there, but maybe if I, you can see the satiny sort of finish on that. And that means it's hitting all the way around. Beauty. We'll just try and let a little run at it. That was pretty light. Yeah, now we've got a nice, nice satin sort of finish around there. All around the valve, nice and even. I think that's pretty good, other than dressing it up a little bit. I think I'll take a cut with the, uh, both the, both the uh, 31 and the one in the bottom. And that will really give me a nice, clean look at where I'm at there. So the 31 at the top. See where we're at. Or is it sticking out? Two oh forty four. So we're running two oh forty four, two oh five, which is uh, about where that is supposed to be. So we're looking good there. So I'm real happy with that. Uh, the valve stem protrusion sticking out of the top part is what it's about what it's supposed to be. So I don't really need to sink it any farther in there. Uh, but now we have to deal with the other problem of. Uh, the, of the uh, stuff between the valves, which we have a bit of a problem. Um, so, I'm not quite sure yet, but I will let you know when I decide what we're gonna do to take care of that. We're trying to measure between the valves at rest. 278. According to my calculations, for 249, 250 plus 60 is uh, 310 and we are pretty close to let's say 280 280 90 310 30 thou 30 thou out there so I'm probably going to have to sink the valves in there a little bit farther uh, to get that 30 thousandths of an inch between them measuring down through there and uh, in between the valves, with my valve stem protrusion where it is and stuff, I'm really starting to think that in order to make the cam work, I'm gonna have to sink those things down in there quite a bit um, to get my clearance. And I hesitate to do that where my uh, valve stem protrusion is just about where it can be. Now I could go down in there 30 thou and I can space the, uh, the valve stems up, um, the springs up, the pack, uh, to make the difference. But we're so close on the uh, on the uh, valves hitting each other. Um, I'm not quite sure. I'm going to have to make some decisions here, one way or another, and go with it. And then we'll see where we are. But I'm really glad on the other side that we got the uh, valve guide in and we were able to cut the seat. And that's a big bonus because that thing was bad. So I, I feel really good about that. So we'll move on, and uh, we'll keep you informed as we go. All right.